After installing and activating Studio Cart, click the Get Started button to configure your settings. On the settings page, you can select your currency, set a terms and conditions URL, and also set your Stripe keys so that you can accept payments on your website. To do that, you'll need to log into your Stripe account, go to API keys, which is under the Developer tab, and then copy both the publishable key and the secret key. and paste them into the appropriate fields in the studio cart settings. You'll also need to click the viewing test data toggle so that you can grab the publishable keys and secret key for your test environment as well. This will allow you to place test orders on your websites so that you can make sure that everything works as expected. When you're done, click the test toggle so that you can put Studio Cart into test mode. You can also connect Studio Cart to your ConvertKit or MailChimp accounts by pasting in their API keys in a similar process. With Studio Cart now connected to Stripe, put Studio Cart into test mode and create your first product. Go to Studio Cart Products and hit the Add New Product button. There you can fill in product details such as the title and a short description. And this information will show up in the default Studio Cart product template. Underneath the content editor, you'll find the product settings. There are a lot of options here, but we'll discuss the payment plan so that you can set up the pricing for your product. Click payment plans and type in a plan ID, which is a required field a name, which is what will show up in the template, and input your price. If you'd like to add multiple pricing options for this product, click the Add New button and fill in the details. For each payment option, you can choose to make it a one-time payment, multiple payments, or a subscription. Here, I'm gonna make this particular payment plan two monthly payments of $550. That's all the information that I need to set for now. So I'll hit the publish button. And then I can click the view post link to see how my new product will look on the front end.